Hi, my name is Randy and this is my story. I grew up playing, loving to play baseball and uh, transforming our bedroom into a Vietnam battlefield uh, with G.I. Joe's because I aspired to be in the military at a young age. Both of those things were things my dad really loved and appreciated. He was a military man and loved baseball. I looked up to my dad. Uh, he influenced a lot of my life. Um, unfortunately though, there was negative ramifications that came with that as well. He uh, had a strong hand in his discipline where a lot of times the way he would father would be based off of performance. If I did well, I'd be accepted and if I didn't, I wouldn't. How can I gain the approval of my dad shaped my identity and from then on I strove to to find it in, in anything I, I did, military, friendships, later on um, getting back into school. How well I did in achieving my goals was where I found my identity and worth. It wasn't until I came a part of Soma Communities, um, God bless me, brought me into a, a, a household that you know pretty much invited me and allow them allowed me to kind of experience what it was like to be a part of their family. They were the the, the Vanderstelts, um, Jeff and Janie Vanderstelt, um, and I would get to see how Jeff interacted with his wife, and how he interacted with his kids, and it, it was a huge blessing for me in, in, in helping kind of reshape what family really looks like. And one time in particular, I remember being at a prayer meeting with Jeff and some of the other guys as we typically did, and, and Jeff made it a point to you know, bring up to me that he noticed that I didn't really refer to God as Father. I referred to him as Lord or God, but not, but, not, but not as Father. And I remember being challenged by that and I wrestled with it. Shortly after he left the meeting, I went into my room and wrestled with that truth. And God immediately impressed my heart, one, that Jeff was a man who loved me and cared for me and so I could trust his words. And two, ultimately, I had this picture of my dad's big strong hand and um, the Spirit kind of confirmed in my heart that this whole time I've been looking at God the Father as, as like my dad. He's a God who loves and accepts me when I do well, but rejects me when I do bad. And I was convicted and cut to the heart. And for the first time I experienced, wow, God has adopted me as a son into his family, not on the basis of what I do, but on what his son has done for me. And for the first time it hit me like, wow, I have a father who loves me. I, I don't have to gain it. And that's been huge for me ever since. It's had amazing implications in, in seeing uh, and loving others um, as brothers and sisters and loving and pursuing my wife, not to gain love, but because I am loved.